Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a mirrored array in Windows 10. For this, you would need two partitions equal in size or two hard drives equal in size. There are two ways of doing this. You can mirror an existing hard drive like your backup or mirror two brand new hard drives. I'll show you how to do both. Let's start with the first. Assuming that you have two additional hard drives, right click this PC manage disk management now in this case I have two additional hard drive I don't recommend you to mirror the C drive because your computer might not boot in this case I'm gonna mirror disk 1 to disk 2 if I open the drive you'll notice I have dummy content pretending that it's real content keep in mind you can do the same if you have two partitions now I'll close here. What I'll be doing is mirror disk 1 to disk 2 so everything I save in my disk 1 will automatically copy to my disk 2. So all I need to do is right click the drive that it has the content and select add mirror. I'll select my disk 2 for my mirror. Click on add mirror. Now click yes here. This means that it'll turn your hard drive to dynamic disks. Now this can take a while to sync depending on how much information you have on that drive. Once it finishes, you can open any of the drives and you'll notice that it has the same content. And if you add content, it'll automatically copy that content to the other drive. You can even use it as a backup but I don't recommend it. Now in case you have two brand new drives it's easier. Select any other drive, right click and select new mirrored volume. Yes to the wizard and select the second disk to be added to the mirror. Click next. You can change the drive letter if you want. You can change the volume label and perform a quick format. All this is optional. And finish the wizard. Now the syncing process is much faster because it doesn't have any information. Now remember to click on yes to the pop-up. That means that it will turn your hard drive to dynamic disk. Once done, since they're empty, I'm going to go ahead and add um, a folder, and you'll notice that it will automatically copy it onto the second drive. Here it is. Keep in mind that this is a um, redundant system, not a backup system. And your computer will read this as one drive. So everything you put in there will be automatically copied onto the second drive. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you. Want to learn how to mirror Windows 8.1 or Windows 7? Click on the link on the screen. Thank you.